If you've been following me on Instagram, you know my obsession with these matcha lattes. The key is the orange. If you don't like matcha, try it with a little bit of orange juice and orange zest and mm, it's so good. Babe, I'm filming. All right, babe, it's time to have a great day. So I'm gonna be taking you through what I eat today and I'm starting out with a smoothie. This is the Black Forest Cherry Smoothie from an ebook called The Energized Smoothie Guide and it was from the Vegan Bundle. If you guys remember, I talked about it about a month ago where you could get 60 ebooks for $50. Well, if you got it, it's in there, so make sure that you make it. It is so good. It's like amaretto. If you like the flavor of amaretto, like almond, cherry, you will love this. It's so good. It tastes like cherry chip ice cream. Here's what you need for it. I added spinach and zucchini. Just add a little bit more nutrition into it, but you're gonna need just like a handful of spinach. I'm dropping this in my blender right away. I also add in some frozen zucchini. If you guys have been following me, you know I love adding zucchini to my smoothies because it makes it nice and volumized without adding like a whole bunch of sugar. One frozen banana. This one looks very, very sad. <laughs> and then the recipe calls for more cherries, but I'm adding about like, I'm adding this many frozen black cherries. That is the key ingredient. The other key ingredient is almond extract. If you guys don't add this to the smoothie, it's just not gonna be the same. This is what gives it that amaretto flavor. So I'm adding in about like half a teaspoon. And then we got some like nuts and seeds and things. So we got ground flax seed, sunflower seeds, and hemp seeds. I added the sunflower seeds because I am in my luteal phase and they're really good for your, the luteal phase of your menstrual cycle. Last but not least, almond milk or whatever plant milk you prefer. Oh, I did forget one thing. You also need cacao powder. So you're gonna add two tablespoons of cacao powder. All right, let's blend her up. I forgot one more thing, protein powder. This is optional, but if you really like the flavor of, uh, blah, 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 blah. if you really like the flavor of your protein powder, then I say add it. This one is really good. I was sent this by Ancient Nutrition. It's the keto um, plant protein powder, and I'm a big fan. It tastes really good. I never add a whole scoop. I do like half or three quarters of a scoop, so I'm just gonna add that in now. Perfect fit, yeah. She's not pretty, but she tastes good. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna fix this and this and I'll see you at lunch. Okay, so I haven't fixed this situation yet, but I'm hungry. I've been doing stuff this morning, getting stuff done, and um, I'm hungry, so I didn't have time to do my makeup and hair yet, but I'm very excited about lunch. We got a Caesar salad. The Caesar dressing is in my video I did a couple weeks ago if you want the recipe. So good. I just have romaine lettuce, some regular lettuce, tomatoes, hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, and then this amazing butternut squash steak that I've been making lately. I'm obsessed. I found it off of Erin Ireland's Instagram. She does, if you need like uh, recipe inspiration or what to make, what to eat when you're vegan, she's a great account to follow on Instagram. But she made these the other day and I was like, wow, those look so good. So I tried them and I'm obsessed. I've made them twice already in a week and um, I can't get enough. They're delicious. Obviously they don't taste like steak, but they're juicy. There's some fat in there with the oil, the spices that are in there. Oh, it's so good. And the way that you cook it, it's really, really good. So highly recommend that recipe. Big fan. Mm. I got a key lime LaCroix, which honestly is the best flavor of LaCroix out there. Yeah, I said it. By the way, today is Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm gonna be making some cauliflower buffalo wings and some like Asian sweet and spicy cauliflower wings as well. Also gonna make some ranch to go with them. And that's probably what I'm gonna have for dinner. So I'll show you guys like, you know, the finished product and how to make them and stuff. What else did I have to tell you guys? I had to tell you something. Guys, the vegan bundle, like I mentioned earlier, the smoothie that I made, the vegan bundle is on sale for, they're having an encore moment for the next like four days till February 7th. 
So if you want to buy it, now is your actual last chance. They did so well the first go around that they wanted to open up for a second little mini sale. And my ebook is actually in the bundle this time. And there's 90 ebooks total in the bundle for $50. So, and it's not just food related, it's health related too. Um, the new additions are really awesome. Ellen Fisher's kid ebook, her like kid friendly recipes are in there. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll be making some of the recipes from the ebooks that are in the bundle. So make sure that you follow along there. There's like how to overcome emotional eating, how to love your body. There is a zero waste guide um, by Liv B, who you guys probably know. Um, yeah, there's lo a lot of like basically overall wellness, lifestyle, and plant-based recipes. That's kind of the vibe of the vegan bundle. And also like if you don't have my ebook, my ebook is $20 normally. And then in the bundle, you get 89 other ebooks for another $30. So the total is $50 for 90 ebooks, which is just insane. It's like a $3,000 value. It's so good. And um, anyway, that's that's my spiel on the vegan bundle. I really would love for you guys to buy it because the value is just too good. You can't pass it up. I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling great today. I'm about to start my period. I'm just not in the right headspace to record a video, but here we are. So if I seem a little off, that's why. If you guys meet me in real life, you will know that I am the same person in real life as I am on camera. And like, I definitely pride myself in that. So some days I need to record and I'm just not gonna be in the best mood. So anyway, I'm gonna finish this, gonna make Super Bowl snacks, and then I'm gonna fix this situation. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I started by making the nacho cheese. So I am am steaming boiling some carrots and then once those have tenderized just a bit I add in my potatoes and here's the rest of my ingredients as well so I add in my potatoes cover that let it steam for a few minutes and then I add in some onion as well and while that is going I'm gonna make my buffalo cauliflower wings so I'm using rice flour here and then I add in some smoked paprika onion powder garlic powder I whisk that together and then I add in some water to make it into a batter and you might have to adjust, add more water to, you know, make sure it's the right consistency. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. And then I cut up my cauliflower into florets and put them in a bowl and then I dredge my cauliflower in the batter. I like mine a little bit thinner, but like I said, not too thin. And I actually really love using rice flour for the batter because it gets really crispy. So while that's in the oven, I blended up the rest of my ingredients for my nacho cheese. And then I also made my ranch for the cauliflower, which is just vegan mayo, sour cream. I also added in some fresh lemon juice, garlic powder, onion powder, and lots of freshly cracked pepper. And of course, a couple of pinches of salt. And then what I ended up doing is I made all the cauliflower, got it nice and crispy, let it cool, and then I put it in a Tupperware container and brought it to the party and finished cooking it in the sauce there. That way they're nice and fresh, they don't get soggy, and it just worked out really well. So here's all my sauces, my ranch, and my nacho cheese. Hey guys, sorry I didn't finish out the day yesterday, but I just hate filming in front of people. Like I filmed a little bit, but then I don't know, I just get self-conscious and I don't want to like subject my friends to like filming and stuff when they don't want to. So anyway, I ended up just eating dinner at the party. The buffalo wings were a hit. You guys, if you're trying to impress non-vegan people with how good vegan plant-based food can be, make some buffalo cauliflower wings. They are always a hit. So I had some of those and then I had some of my my nacho cheese with some tortilla chips. Nacho cheese was also a hit. Also had some guacamole, some Starburst, and Topo Chico. So that was pretty much my dinner. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. I know it was kind of a random day. I don't normally film what I eat in a days like this, but I wanted to remind you to buy the vegan bundle if you haven't already, because first of all, my ebook is in there, which is so cool. So there's 90 ebooks total in this bundle and you get them for $50 and it's not just plant-based food and recipes. It's mindset, mindset stuff. It's fitness. It's body love. It's overcoming emotional eating. It's balancing your 
your hormones. It's how to go zero waste. It's making your own natural beauty products, how to eat vegan on a budget. A lot, a lot of information. And if you purchase the bundle through my link, you will automatically be entered in to a giveaway to win a free air fryer. That's right, guys. I'm getting you a free air fryer. So if you get the bundle. It has to be through my link. Email me at Nicole at morsalplease.co and just email me your receipt and your order number and that will be your entry into the giveaway and I will announce it Monday, February 10th. And like I said, there's only four days to buy this bundle and then it's gone forever. This is really the last time. So um, you have till Friday and then it's gone. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below telling me what video you, you want to see from me next? Are you liking these more educational recipe type content videos? Let me know. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care of yourself, eat good food, and I'll see you in the next one. Diet Coke ain't good for the soul. Give me that, give me that orange soda. Give me a grape like you see in the movies. Bubble to the top like a smoothie, you'll see. I'll do you like a nine to five. 